the heck? Okay, hi! <laughs> Welcome back to The Ascent. Uh, I'm starting my second video here because I'm finally continuing with the main mission. I've been pursuing little side quests here and there, trying to uh, level up as much as I can, try to learn as much about the game as I can. But I think it actually is time for me to make real progress. Now wait, is this guy... Is this guy gonna attack me? Okay, okay. I'll move on. Which way do I need to go? This way? So yeah, this is a part of the world I haven't been to yet. But this does seem to be the direction I need to go to... Oh no! Okay, so enemies with guns. I don't quite know how to deal with them. Not what I meant to do. Okay, so the thing that I don't really understand is, like, when enemies are capable of shooting at me. I don't know what to do to defend myself exactly. Should I be, like, crouching behind cover? Should I be just trying to take them out first? Should I be rolling around constantly? I'm not sure, and I'm worried that I'm going to do a bad job because I don't know. Okay, this is saying I should go up here. What's in here, though? Are these bad guys? Yep. Okay, so they didn't care until I got too close. That's kind of interesting. So I have no reason to be exploring this place. This is the problem with me trying to make progress in a game. Anytime I see some weird interesting thing, that might have nothing to do with progression. I I do that instead of progressing. So I'm using my um I'm using my pistol right now instead of my submachine gun because I'm facing like smaller numbers of tougher enemies now than back when I was collecting feral testicles. And so it feels like doing more damage per hit is probably valuable. Um, can I pick that up? I can't. Okay. So let's see. I think I've picked up some stuff. Okay, I'm, I think I'm wearing the clothes that I want to wear. But I feel like I got a weapon skin. What do I do with a weapon skin? Can I do anything with it here? Or do I need to go somewhere else? It looks like... It looks like I don't have a lot of... Yeah, I don't have a lot of options here. Alright. Actually, let me check one more thing. If I zoom in on a weapon, and if I hit left-click to show details... Oh, that's just... Okay, that just cycles between different views, but it isn't giving me the ability to change the skin. So there must be a place I can go to change the skins on my weapons, my clothes, that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, so Cox is telling me that uh, left-clicking to show details will, will give me what I want, but I don't think it, it doesn't seem to really do anything. Uh, useful, as far as I can tell. Okay, so Cogs is telling me that I'm missing something in the chat. Now I need to see what it is. I don't know what it is you're saying that I'm missing, Cogs. Where am I trying to go? Down this way? Here's some more people. Okay, 
Okay, so with that guy, I had to hold the left trigger to aim over his cover, which is kind of fun. Oh, okay, so Cog says that uh, that applying skins to things does have to be done in a couple of different places. The gunsmith or the grafter, I think is what he's saying. So, okay, so, cool. Okay, during combat, crouching behind cover is your key to survival. Aim high to shoot over covers, even when crouching and staying perfectly safe. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. This is what I was looking for, was some information. Okay, so... Okay, so if I'm aiming this way, I can't aim over this cover, but if I aim like this, I can. What are these guys doing? Where'd you come from? Back off. Unwilling investors? What? This is a place where people get robbed? Is that what they're saying? You notice how that guy climbed over that fence. That's actually, when you're trying to make a game that's got a lot of enemies in it, more than you can render at any one time, one of the big things you need to figure out is how do new enemies join the fray without just making the level very complicated? So coming up with things like guy crawls over railing uh, is some of the most... I don't know, valuable tools that you can add to your arsenal. Oh, that's just a civilian. Okay, cool. Wait, there's some kind of side quest over here? I see a little yellow marker. Let's look at the map real quick. Okay, I'm not seeing a yellow marker on the map, so maybe it's just really far away? The world is just so complex. It's just full of pl just random places to go that have nothing to do with my progression. It's kind of overwhelming. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah, hey, stop it. You know, fighting a lot of people with this pistol is kind of making me want to uh, to grab the upgraded pistol that has more reliable high damage. I think I actually would, in these fights, I actually would start feeling the difference. There's some kind of red dot over here that I definitely want to get in trouble with. Ha! <laughs> Take that. So, um, Friendly Wombat suggests that, uh, can't you just make enemies spawn in the directions you're not looking? So that is, that is actually what we do in State of Decay 2. Um, we try to find spots that are either behind obstacles or just in a direction the player isn't moving. The problem is, State of Decay 2 is a four-player co-op game. Um, and so, with four possible different perspectives at once, uh, you can kind of quickly remove safe spawning places from the world. And zombies end up needing to either pop in right in front of your face, or, uh, or do something else, you know, to, or just not spawn. Um, and so I think that it probably would have been smart of us if we had figured out a way to like naturally spawn zombies anywhere. You know, it could be anything from, like, monster closets. Could have worked. To, uh, you know, like... One thing that, you know, if, if we were doing a different kind of zombie, one that was, like, you know... The, like, for instance, magical zombies that are, like, the actual dead risen or something like that, you could do zombies crawling out of the ground, uh, which would be a really sort of simple way to spawn a zombie anywhere. But, you know, something like if we had added to the game, like spawning closets where you know a zombie can come out of it but nobody can go into it we could spawn them inside houses wherever we wanted to that sort of thing now now there's definitely potential frustrations there like nobody wants to clear a house and have zombies suddenly spawn out of the closets for no reason that starts to feel weird but it's 
So we'd have to be careful with a tool like that, but... But, you know, it's better to give yourself a power that you could potentially abuse and carefully not abuse it than to just simply not have the power to solve a certain kind of problem. So I've got a bunch of extra guns that I don't need now. Hey guys! So again, you can see that, that when I'm aiming high, ow! When I'm aiming high, ow! I'm filling up these yellow bars on these guys, which a lot of the times I just end up, with the weaker guys I end up killing them before the yellow bar is full, but the tougher guys I can actually knock them into a stagger, which prevents them from attacking me for a bit, while I continue to work on their health bar. Hello. Ow! Oh, okay, so I thought I... It's... Man, having something like a melee attack that you tend to use at moments of, like, last resort... Ow. Having that on a cooldown can be really, really rough. Like, I tried to use my melee attack on a guy that was right next to me, and because I did that, ow, because I did that um, at the wrong time, dang it, when, when it wasn't um, available yet, Oh crap, did that explosion hit me or did I get killed by something else? I don't know. Anyway, you know, if you, if you want to use your melee attack the way you use it in Call of Duty as sort of like a last resort option, I mean, that's a pretty natural desire. But if you've got the kind of melee attack that's on a cooldown and it can fail, that can be really, really frustrating. Okay, is that everybody for a sec? Hold on. Let's check out the new gun we just got. Riot gun. Looks like a shotgun. Seems okay. And then let's make our secondary gun be the pistol, because I do like that pistol. I love that all these places have, like, official names and then the names that the characters call them. Like Tranquility Park and The Grinder. Oh, gosh, what's shooting me from behind? Why can't I roll? That sucked. That was weird that I couldn't roll. I don't know what was causing that. Haha! <laughs> okay, I finally- Oh, gosh! Can this hit me from there? Nope. Let's 
Let's just keep shooting at this until it's dead. There we go. Okay, I'm not actually a huge fan of that shotgun. I have to get so close to people to use it effectively. Not doing great on health here. Okay, they're leaving. I feel like... I need to figure out how to get some health. <laughs> okay, was that health? I don't know. Ow! What? What is that garbage? Oh, gosh. Okay, I guess that's a stim brute. <laughs> Alright, great. Lady in red, all you missed is that I'm headed towards the next phase in the main storyline, and I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> I don't know how far back I am here. There's something called a stim brute in this world. I have to fight it, and I'm not happy about it. Oh, gosh, what is... No, stop. Oh, I do not want those. Let's definitely stagger this person as much as we can. Ah! Oh, that thing keeps... I dodge it, and it, keep... and it keeps coming! Let's get rid of the little guys first before we have to deal with the big person. Ow! I'm stuck. I'm about to die. Okay, yet something is pre pre preventing me. I can't even talk. Something is preventing me from dodging sometimes, and I don't know what it is. Okay, apparently when this person hunkers down, they actually heal. Okay, so maybe I should consider actually, let's switch again from the riot gun to the hab defender. Let's see if my machine gun is good against some of these guys. Hello. Oh yeah, that is highly effective. What am I here to do? Kill the full chromes. Full chromes. Oh, hi. <laughs> Dodging those weird smart missiles is kind of crazy and fun. Like, I don't think they're actually particularly likely to hit and kill you. Oh, never mind. Okay, I've killed two of them now. I don't even know what that is I just picked up. Yay, thingies. Okay, where are the rest of these dudes? Some up here. It feels like they deliberately miss you the first time to, like, give you warning that they're on the way. Oh, am I... Huh. Oh crap! I, okay, I think I've now attracted multiple groups of these people. Yeah, I leveled up. Does that heal you? It looks like it maybe does. Oh, did my melee attack really just miss everyone? At least that guy's on fire for some reason. Whew, okay. Okay, one more of these dudes. <sighs> 
One more full chrome. Okay, what did I just pick up? Uh, okay, I've got a dread. What's a dread? Ballistic assault rifle. Let's try that. And then for my secondary, I know, riot gun. Oh, wow. Okay, this, this is my favorite gun now. Long range, accurate, bunch of damage per shot. Oh, crap. Okay, that was me accidentally... F <laughs> I think I was trying to crouch, and I was and I went and accidentally fired my uh, grenade. And now the grenade is going to take nine years to charge up again. Yeah, so that is the danger of putting the grenades on uh, the left... Uh, clicking the left stick. It's such an unusual grenade trigger that uh, people will often hit it trying to do something else. And if your grenades take forever to recharge, uh, people end up just using your grenades by accident more than they use them on purpose, which I would not be surprised if that's the zone I end up in. Okay, so I think... Oh, here's somebody. Hello, friend. Hey! Oh, you think you're clever? Sneaking up behind me. I have an assault rifle now. It doesn't matter what you do. All right. That full chrome, though. Maybe he's over on the right side? I, th I thought that the right side I'd already fully explored, but maybe not. Come here, full chrome. Where are you? Okay, here's a crew over here. There we are. Okay, we did it. Okay, so I'm here to attend a meeting of all of the like bosses of this area, I'm trying to figure out how they're going to continue operations even though like corporate is out of the picture. And, I mean, there's no way this is going to go well, right? Like, everyone's going to get massacred, and there's going to be even more chaos. Like, that seems like a no-brainer, right? And I'm just there to uh, get into a giant fight over it. What's this place? Okay, I can buy stuff. No thanks. I'm good. Oh wait, was that not where I needed to go? Where do I need to go? Okay, dang it, what's going on? It says I need to come in here. But then it says I need to leave. Is this a mission bug? What's going on? Okay. It looks like they just, ah, uh, they didn't update the objective marker. So, we're fighting these guys, I guess. Okay, so I'm not sure what it means when a guy gets that sort of, like, flaming look around his head. 
Doesn't mean he's about to use a special power. Oh, what's this? What? No. No, I don't want a big hammer man. I don't want two big hammer men. No matter how amazing their hair is. I'm already dealing with these guys. Take your hammer men elsewhere. Oh, gosh. These guys appear to have a lot of uh, health. Okay, but I'm staggering them, keeping them under control. Okay, yeah, they do that magical thing where... Ow! I lost my ability to... Okay, what are the rules about dodging in this game? Sometimes I can dodge and sometimes I can't. Sometimes it feels like I can dodge a lot in a row. And then I can't for a bit. So I can do like two dodges in a row. But then there's a mysterious cooldown I don't understand. I don't know how this works. Anyway, we've seen this cutscene. Okay, so I would probably try to use cover, except that there's always so many people behind me at any given time, I can't. Oh, whatever that is, I want it. Oh, yeah, right, of course. I forgot that hammers have magical abilities that send damaging shockwaves through the ground, you know, like in real life. <laughs> It is weird. How did we develop that, like, that trope? You know, just sort of that, that weird thing where hitting the ground really hard also just hurts everything around the ground. Like, why is, why is that a thing? Yeah, the whole thing where they're like, oh yeah, take cover behind stuff. I'm like, okay, I guess. But what about the guys who just come up on me like that? Hi. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Okay, so do I have a thing that sets people on fire when I use that attack on them? I didn't think I did, but that was not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. Right. I just keep forgetting that they actually, that those hammers are actually ranged attacks. <laughs> like, no matter how many times I face these guys, because of the world I'm in, I just can't accept the idea that they make magical earthbender trails of attack at me. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just gonna come over here. Oh, gosh. This is already going poorly for me. Nope. <laughs> I didn't even get as far as last time. Ah! Okay, okay. I, like, I keep watching this guy just like say this line of dialogue before he just gets... I assume he just gets obliterated when that happens. Because I'm going to try to get behind cover. See if that makes a difference. So these folks have grenades to try to flush me out, which makes sense.
<laughs> yeah, these new enemies, not what I needed right now. Okay. That hurt. Okay. I'm almost dead already. Dang it, I was trying to, I was trying to dodge. But I think for some reason my dodge was on cooldown at that moment. Why? How does my dodge cooldown work? Someone explain this to me. <laughs> Zarnathi asks if I'm on hard. And I'm on whatever's normal, I don't know. This game's hard whether or not you say it should be hard. Yeah, 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 big monsters, I know. What? What? Why can't I shoot this guy? It's messed up. Wow, oh, that hit me, of course it did. Okay, let's get some health. And get shot at the same time so it does nothing. Alright. Again? Again, my dodging does not respond. Why? What am I misunderstanding? You can dodge once, dodge again. And now I can't dodge again. And then I can. Then I can't. And then I really can't. And then I can. There's nothing on the screen telling me when I can and can't dodge. It's just a hidden rule that if I overuse it, I get punished. Not my favorite way to do it. Like, I feel like you know, either, either you make dodging a thing you can just do all the time, or you put a, you put a coherent. Oh great! <laughs> I'm just okay. This is not going well at all. <laughs> or you put some kind of coherent set of rules on it so that I understand what's going on. Just saying. Oh no, you can't dodge this time. Yeah bothers me. Okay, finally I did something right. I shot the grenade guy so he would drop his grenade. <laughs> I got shot and immediately the cutscene hits. I thought that I'd been killed. Ow. I just leveled up. That's helpful. Except I can't dodge. Now I can. What are the rules? There are no rules. Oh. Okay, so that guy actually survived. He didn't get killed. There, meeting done. Raging success. The other 
bosses are on board, we'll begin coordinating our cluster SIs and redistributing vital supplies in a few hours. We still have plenty of work to do, but this is as good a start as we could hope for. But who the flaming fuck were those amped up flatliners? Damn it! I need more problems about as much as I need a rectum on my forehead. And yes, I know there are a few evolutionary dead ends like that around, but you get my drift. Someone's pinging me. Hang on. Pony here. Yes. Yes. No. Fuck. That was Admin Denker. While we were splooging all over ourselves here, someone went and grabbed a whole bunch of habbers. My habbers! Seems the attack here was a diversion for the kidnapping. I gotta get back. Don't stray too far! I have a feeling we'll need your help again soon. Okay, so Cogs did some research and found out there actually is something on the screen telling me how many dodges I have. It's just really hard to see. So there's a circle there on the ground. Oh, wait. What is this audio? Something is rustling continuously. Uh, one of the enemies I killed must have just fallen into a weird state and just rustling eternally. So we'll look at the dodging thing in a second. So... I don't see a marker for this one, so maybe I just need to focus on side missions for a bit. Let's see what side mission I should... Okay, there's something up there. I'm trying to see if any of the existing side missions I have are in this area already. I don't think they are. So, okay, but there is a side mission that's just right up near me. I don't know. It's a new one. Anyway, you see these little um, chevrons on my little arrow direction at the on the sort of the orange arrow the orange circle at my feet there's two little chevrons and apparently each time i roll one of them goes away and that actually does tell me if i can dodge say okay so i'm here so there's a side quest over to the northeast so let's head that direction real quick, because I want to grab any side quests that I get, obviously, always. What? Screw you. Oh gosh, what? Now the whole thing's starting now, huh? Haha! <laughs> Oh, okay, so the circle color is the main color of my outfit. So because I chose orange, that's why it's orange on the ground and kind of difficult to see. That makes sense. So if I want it to be more visible, I could change my sort of personal style. But uh, I don't want to. All right. Anyway, I get the impression... There we go. Hmm. Hid my dad's weapon over in gratitude. A storage in an abandoned pizzeria. Get it and give it to Iris. Okay, there's a, something called the stash here. Let's see. Where is the stash? They said it's in gratitude? That's a Okay, that's a place I came through right there. Okay, so first off, there's some enemies over here, and I must murder them all. Obviously. Let's poke around here and see if there's anything... Okay, there's some locked stuff that I can't hack well enough yet to get into. What's this? Nothing? Okay. In a busy like, dirty-looking world like this, sometimes it can be difficult to sort of identify what's interactive and what's not. Okay, this looks like a non-fruitful direction to explore now. So, okay, so we're going to head down to Gratitude and see if we can figure out where... Am I currently tracking the mission? 
Yes, we are tracking the stash. Okay, so we'll head down here and see if we can find this stash of a weapon. Oh, whoa, Lady in Red, you just subscribed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Am I even going in the right direction? I've got this little icon at the bottom of the screen that seems to be telling me I'm going the right direction. I don't know whether I should trust it, though, because I haven't fully decoded the language of these diamond icons. Whether I should expect a yellow one or a... Oh, gosh, what? What the heck? <laughs> Just walk right into a turret? Okay, fine. <laughs> Mast Max says there was a turret. Thank you, Max. Mast Max. <laughs> Mast Max, do I know you, IRL? Uh, which one? <laughs> okay. I thought so, but uh, you never know. All right, so there's a there's a thing on that rooftop. Do you see that? How do I get up on that rooftop? There's a bunch of boxes up there. How do I do that? I'm just going to ignore those enemies up to the northeast. Is there a way up in here, maybe? No? Oh, I can open lockers. Oh, wait. Oh, there's some stairs. Okay, I like this. I like them taking advantage of the perspective to, like tell me that there's something in a certain space but I still have to work out how to get there is this yes this is looking like it first we'll open this guy ooh cyber deck upgrade how do I cyber deck city kicker Entry level stuff for the delinquent and misguided. City Kicker has more copies than most uh, Okay. Ice One. Okay, so I've already equipped it, and now I can open Ice One stuff. So I've already been denied at least one container. I forgot where it was now. I've been already denied at least one container because I couldn't hack at Ice Level 1, and now I can. So if I could remember where that one was, I would probably go back and get it. But, uh... Guess I'll just have to keep my eyes open. Anyway, let's go back and get killed by that turret again. That sounds fun. Oh, wow. So, Masked Max, it's given me crap for the way I pronounce the word roof. I don't understand why people have a problem with it. My kids make fun of me, too. It's a perfectly normal way to pronounce that word. What are you doing down there? <laughs> this is a long walk I gotta take. Oh, gosh, what? Ah, hey, I saw that. Wait, what? What is going on? This is a lot of people. Reverend Nemet? What's that? What is a Reverend Nemet? It's a bounty. Certain enemies are known to be troublemakers. Defeat an enemy with a bounty, get it proved to be able to claim a reward at a bartender in Velez. Be careful, bounties of various boosts in combat make them tougher. Check your current collected bounties in the journal. Don't forget to claim the rewards. Okay. So I see a named dude. I want to fight that guy because there's prizes. I'm still very nervous. I think I might be close to where that turret was.
I don't know, though. Okay, there's an M on the map here. What does that mean? Is it like a metro station? Okay, I had it in my head that there, this might be where the turret was, but maybe not. I don't know where that turret lives. I've never been here before. I don't know what's going on. Hey there, what are you doing? Oh gosh! What the heck? Who's left in here? I love that, I mean, like, I kind of don't mind running into all these random encounters just because, like, the combat does feel really good, and it's, especially now that I'm kind of getting used to it. It's feeling good, and it's just kind of fun, so, yeah, let's... So, Cog says that bounties are a reliable way to get upgrades. Good to know. Though I don't know how to find bounties, I just happened into that one by accident. Oh, sorry, innocent bystanders. Am I even chasing the right icon here. <laughs> Oop. Ah! Yeah, it looks like I'm still heading in the right direction, so... I don't understand why everybody... Like, it seems like when I get into this discussion about how you pronounce roof, like, you know, when, when I'm talking about, say, for instance, inverting inverting the look on your controller. Usually, like, the majority is against me, but there's always somebody who's like, oh yeah, that's what I do too. But for some reason, with the... It's not crazy for me to, pro for me to be pronouncing it the way I'm... I mean, I, it's not like no one does it. I've seen it places. I know it's real. But for some reason, in any given group that I'm in, I'm the only one who pronounces it that way. And I don't understand. And it's not like... It's not like I'm doing it as an affectation. Like, I didn't just decide one day, oh, I'm gonna pronounce it Roof. Like, I feel like I've always done it this way. Like, it's just a perfectly normal way to say this word that has never felt wrong to me. I've never felt like I was different until other people started pointing it out to me. Like, I don't notice the difference. It doesn't, it doesn't stand out to me as like a problem that I pronounce this word differently from other people. For some reason, other people like, I'll notice it and call it out. I just don't understand. Like, if it's so weird, where did I get it? Why did I start? Crap. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna die. Oh! I just leveled up. Nice. Oh wait, that guy didn't die? I've been picking up so many guns. I feel like at some point I need to sell something. Okay, so this is supposed to be the place that I'm being sent to find this stash? Is it... Is, oh, it's here? Nope, that's a pelt pickup. Okay, so where's the stash? I'm going to kill all the enemies first?
Or am I just looking for any old, like, it, did they just put the marker in the middle of the grinder district? Or rather, the gratitude district? And I just need to find it? Wherever it is? Let's look at the map again. Ah! Dang it. Okay, there are some boxes scattered around here. Okay, it looks like... Okay, it is still saying it's to the southeast of me, so... Whatever this marker is over here... this Maybe this is just a different... There must be some different quest here or something? I, I don't... There's a yellow diamond here and nothing around to interact with. Is it on a different floor? Oh, am I about to just go down an elevator? Maybe I'm about to go... Yeah, maybe I'm about to go down an elevator or something, and I'm going to find that thing elsewhere. Okay. So, okay. Oh, bounty! Ah, uh, this is an expert Jalmari. He's better than other Jalmaris. But not better at dealing with somebody in cover. Okay, so the stash is over here. Somewhere. Nope. In the pizza place? Uh, how, it's over here. No. Locked. Oh, but I've got ice. Yes. Iris. It's an old gun. So now do I, what do I do with it? Do I just... I need to speak with Iris now? Where does Iris live? Iris, where are you? Oh, way over in cluster 13, huh? All right, sure. Nothing else in here? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Mast Max is pointing out that, uh, even though we pronounce roof differently, uh, we do still both invert our looks, so that's good, yeah. So, I don't really know why I invert my look either, like, or, you know, why I, I pronounce roof like look, and I also invert my look. I don't know, is that related? No, it is not. Um, hello, everyone. Yeah, let's get away from me. Oh, gosh, hi. What's that about? Oh, who's this dude? What the heck? Okay. I guess I was killed then. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not sure why I invert my look. Like, why, you know, I do that when so many people don't. It, it actually, from the very beginning, like the very first time I tried to play a first-person shooter with a controller, I was inverted just instantly. Like, it wasn't like I learned it in one particular way. Like, I, I basically, I remember the first time I tried out Halo... It was before Halo came out, I was actually visiting um, some game developer friends of mine. I wasn't a game developer yet, but uh, I, I knew some people who were. I was visiting some friends, and... Okay, is this going to be a... Yeah. I was visiting some friends, and they showed me Halo. What the heck?! This is a deadly fight. I need to be thinking more carefully about this. Anyway, and so I picked up the controller, and they tried to, like, say, oh, here, use the controller and try to play this sort of early development build of Halo. And I tried it out, and I immediately couldn't do it. I was like, this is terrible. I can't figure out what's going on. But for some reason, I can't control this. And then I tried inverting the look, and it absolutely worked. Um, and so just from the very beginning... Standard felt wrong, inverted felt right. It looks like we've got a uh, audio bug. Okay, maybe it's over now. Okay, dodging across, dodging across health to save my life in a pinch is tight. Um, okay, so we're back to this spot. 
I think the fight that keeps killing me was over here. But maybe I just completed that fight with the people who had just gotten closer to me. I don't know. Oh, no, no, still this guy. What? What even hit me? What even hit me? I was fine and then suddenly I was dead. What is going on? Okay, so Lady in Red says, are you supposed to go up those stairs? I don't know what stairs you mean. I just went up some stairs, though. Ugh, I love missing with that uh, melee attack. That's always great. Oh, hey! Is this the thing I was missing? Oh, this is one of those cameras I need to install. Okay. So that's what that was. Taste my fist. You taste my lead. When I do aim the, uh that attack correctly, it feels good. <laughs> I just often don't aim it correctly. Okay, yeah, so this does feel like a superior way to go. Apparently that other fight is just what I'm not ready for. And so it's interesting that this is the kind of game that will put you into, that will allow you to enter locations that have fights you are not ready for. This is not like, say, Skyrim, which is just, uh, or, or is it Oblivion? Oblivion was the one that was famous for it where, uh, you know, they're just constantly scaling the difficulty everywhere you go so you never go anywhere that has uh, something that you can't handle. This game seems like it might not be that type. Oh, crap. My melee attack was apparently not charged. Oh, and... Ugh. Then when finally it was charged... I aimed it wrong. I, I, I'm looking for Iris. Anybody here know an Iris? You? Do you know an Iris? Okay. I'm looking for Iris. Iris, anybody? Excuse me, do you know someone named Iris? What about you? Do you know an Iris? Ah! Have you seen Iris? And whoever tells me where Iris is gets to live. You? Nope. All right. What about... What are these? They're marked on the map as big green bloops. All right. Okay, it looks like we need to go down an elevator. Man, this one side quest is taking, is taking longer than the main quest, and I even had to replay... I even had to replay the main quest battle a lot of times. Uh, so satisfying, though. So I get the feeling this is not the kind of game that I'm just going to try to religiously stream all the time because this is kind of so naturally fun and uh, see this is the perfect combination of fun and time consuming <laughs> oh sorry i didn't realize that you guys were just innocent bystanders running away or i wouldn't have murdered you <laughs> so sorry but anyway there's some games where when they're new i try to just play as much as uh, much of them as i can on the stream you know, in case people are interested in just sort of seeing the progress of them over time but 
this is a game that I definitely want to play in my spare time whenever I can. And honestly, I don't think that, like, even if I did just sort of drop in and stream it occasionally, I don't think you folks would be missing much. Because this isn't really about the story. It's just about running around in this world, seeing what the place fe looks and feels like, and getting into trouble. Okay, so best way to go up this uh, elevator. Okay. Iris is so far away. Okay, so I've got a green mini map now. Does that mean that I'm in a safe place? Yeah, I've dropped my gun. There's an M here, is it? I still think that's probably a metro station. That's probably like fast travel. Hey there, Iris. I'm gonna take a weapon instead of money as my prize. And wait, who's this person? A bartender. Ooh, I can sell my bounties. Yes. Expert Jamari. You just made this rotten cop and you're still alive too. Nice. Alright. Loadout. Anything I haven't tried? Scorcher! What's a scorcher? Looks like it's a different kind of shotgun. So let's... Ah! I can't learn to control this. Okay, so uh, scorcher is going to be my secondary gun now. Um, armor. I have some new armor, some new pants. Ooh. Bikes or bikes or pants are apparently really, really good. The handyman backpack doesn't offer a lot of protection, but offers other things, other boosts. I think I'll stick with the chest plate. What about hats? Supervisor hat versus Hmm. Not sure I care about any of these. Okay. Augmentations. Do I have anything new? No, just volatile and hydraulic slam. No new modules? Okay. Well, I think we might be about done with this session then. Uh, Lady in Red, I'm really glad that you're enjoying this. Um, let's see if they're... Okay, now that I've collected more money... Let's see if there's anything in the way of weapons that I want to buy. Oh, we've got several different ones here. Okay, so again, it's only comparing it to my primary weapon, which I can't switch out. So I think... Okay, the protector is the one I already have. And it's 11 to 30 damage now? Did I upgrade it or something? That doesn't seem like that was the amount it was before. The Flatliner does 55 to 85, and is significantly fancier. Goliath does less. Let's grab the Flatliner. It's the most, ex wait, this is, the Pacifier is 22 to 30. Let's grab a Flatliner. Let's buy something for once. And now, can I sell things? Okay, so is this telling me how many of these I have? Yes, okay, the number tells me how many I have. So I can sell the extras. That's nice. Okay, so I thought that these numbers were like... the level of the item or something, but no, they're the number of copies I have. And all the ones that I have copies of, I can sell for cash. That's great. And I've got way more funds, not that I need it. So what's this hammer icon? What does this mean? Oh, a gunsmith. Ooh, okay. 
So I can apply weapon skins, like the canary skin, for instance. Okay, the scorch Wait, where's the flatliner? That was the other pistol that I bought. Okay, cool. So I could upgrade the dread to Mark II, which will make it do slightly more damage. Sure. And so each time I upgrade it again, it costs more of the same resource. And it's only going to raise its damage by one, but it is an automatic weapon, so it's going to add up over time. Let's leave it alone for now. One thing I don't know is if they've got, like, special, very rare guns that it would be that would be more profitable for me to save up my resources for. Okay, so... Okay, so slowing down incoming projectiles. That seems pretty valuable. It costs most of my money, but let's let's grab it. And then let's go into surgery. Okay. Augmentations. So I don't use volatile at all. So let's switch to hyperfocus. Biology. Oh, so I can change all of, I could make myself male again. I could do anything I wanted with any of the. Okay, it looks like it doesn't it hasn't expanded beyond the original options. But I've unlocked. Okay, I've unlocked some new. Like for instance, here's my. I can grab the uh, the pink. They can do surgery on me, so I now have a pink tank top. Here's the problem. Anytime you're giving the player a place like this to like adjust their style you absolutely have to why is why is the badge not going away dang it you absolutely have to give them even lighting like everything here is under blue lighting i've got no idea what i look like like you have like however artificial it is you have to give me the ability to see what my character is really going to look like Oh, Zarnathian points out that there actually might have been a, a button that allowed me to sell all of the duplicates of all of my weapons at once. Which does sound valuable. <laughs> now let me see if I can get to the armor purchasing place. Now, I might have already just spent so much money that I can't really buy anything. How do I get to the armor place? I can see a little armor icon. I don't know how to get there. What's that? Turn off. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. Um, is it up here? What's that? Wait. Okay, here's the armor shop. Let's see what I can get in here. A deep stink rebreather. Oh wow, that I don't I can't afford it, but that gives me a ton of advantages. Yeah, I kind of want the Deep Stink Rebreather. That gives me a lot of protection. Let me... You know what? I don't really feel like I need... All this stuff. So let me... Okay, let me sell my Death Glare Visor. And my Inner Gaze Visor. And now I'll buy some headgear that includes a Deep Stink Rebreather. Which is what I actually want to wear. Um, a kill ball vest, huh? That's what I should have been wearing when I went after all the uh, the feral testicles. And then what is this eyeball shop? What, what's going on in here? What, what do you sell? Cyber vendor, huh? Oh, you sell tactical gear. So instead of my shockwave grenade, I could grab a regular frag grenade... Sweet Justice, which crush... Oh, Stasis Drone. This is how I do Stasis, and it's 22,000. Okay, so now I know what Stasis is about. I need to go to the eyeball shop 
with 22,000 bucks, collect a stasis drone, and then I can do that stasis side quest. All right, good to know. We've been playing this for a long time. We should probably take a break. Let me catch up with the chat a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, so Zarnathian pointed out a little bit earlier on that the guys who were just killing me with one shot were actually twice my level. So I didn't expect this game to be so much about, like, you know, leveling up and being the same level as the enemies that you're fighting. It makes sense. It's a Diablo-like game. So, I mean, people have described it as being Diablo-like, so of course I should have assumed that. But, yeah, it kept surprising me when somebody would outlevel me so much that just one shot would kill me. That felt like, just like, why do I even have access to this location? But, at least, you know what, the penalty for death in this game is really, really light. I mean, you move a short distance, and that's kind of it. So, I appreciate that. You know, if they're going to have a game that is potentially frustrating, setting it up so that the cost of death is fairly low is a good idea. Makes me want to keep playing. Um, let's see here. Okay, Zarnathian points out that there are actually other things with stasis, not just that stasis drone, though I haven't seen any yet. I haven't noticed any yet. So uh, wherever they are, they're still hiding from me. Anyway, okay, so uh, I'm tired. Let's wrap this up. So uh, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm going to put a little button right there. And if I play The Ascent again on the stream, I, of course, will put the video there. But no guarantees. This has just been added to my uh, rotation of games I play on my own time. We'll see if I end up streaming it.